Lords, it's well over 10 years now since I uh, abolished indeterminate sentences with full cross-party support, including the vocal support of Lord Blunkett, the Home Secretary who introduced them, because we both agreed that they were being used on a scale in a way that had never been intended and never contemplated by Parliament. We never imagined that over 10 years later, we find over a thousand people were still serving these sentences, many of them way beyond any minimum sentence that the judge may have recommended when imposing it. Uh, following the last question, I made the mistake of assuming that the parole board would steadily release all of them when the time was right, but I made the mistake also of making it the burden of proof on the prisoner to prove there was no danger. That has failed, and there's no point in still defending it. The government's already rejected resentencing of all the offenders involved. Can you assure me the plan that's about to be produced will definitely bring an end to the indeterminate, timeless detention of people for whatever crime, of what, some of them times quite minor, and replace it with a wholly new sentencing method if there are some of these people who would be a danger if released?